Alright, this is Big Boss, it's Foxhound Woods Ball, coming to you for Shooting Hot TV. Now, I was browsing through my timeline a while back, and a friend of mine posted this one up about a game called Archery Tag. Now, the idea seems fun and everything, bow and arrow, and have some fun, but the way they were advertising it really got under my skin and looking through the video frame by frame it pretty much pissed me off anyway I'll let you be the judge of that but I'll put up the video and I'll then give my two cents on this one Okay, watch the video and now I can tell you because I am a paintball player that I'm flat out offended. I am repulsed. I am angered. And this video has just gotten pretty deep under my skin. And there are some portions of it that just sent the red flags flying and I'll be more than happy to post those up and to explain them. Alright, now you just saw the picture I posted up from the end of this video on archery tag and you can see the archery tag guys, they're all smiling and they're happy. You see the paintball side and these guys are bruised up, they're bloodied, but here's the little piece that really got to me. Okay, these guys saw the picture, and with that, here's what I'm getting at. If you notice the bottom two after the neck injury picture, look at the guy's nose. Look at the other guy's eye. Now, I'm willing to think that these are one of two likely scenarios. One, people doing asinine stuff involving paintball guns, or group their own ignorance they were playing paintball in an unsafe manner which is not wearing a mask when you're playing or the third and most likely scenario I can think of is that these images were doctored the guy with the nose injury you could break a paintball open you could dab the paint inside the ball on somebody's face and take something like corn syrup or something that's like a deep red or a dark red that's drippy and you can splat that under the nose and everything so at first glance it looks like he got shot in the face with a paintball gun the second guy the eye injury that looks more like a sharpie was taken to the guy's eye so 
that way it would look like a paintball related injury but from where I'm sitting the picture itself that injury is too perfect it is too round plus the area around it does tend to fly a red flag because it's not like blue or purple or there's no area around the impact point that's discolored which would show bruising from something like that now as far as the video itself and its contents I would have to say the archery tag guys that cooked this one up have done something that would be highly unethical if I do say so myself because paintball is legitimized in more ways than one look at TV shows, look at movies, look at video games. You could find paintball mentioned in commercials and stuff like that, which is a sign of the times of paintball's growing social acceptance. Anyway, I'm posting the video link, I'm posting the link to this guy's YouTube channel because. I just feel that something like this shouldn't even be because it's been like what 25 30 years since paintball's inception and we have struggled to become socially accepted speedball guys did great for that because it showed us as more of an athletic portion yet you look at the changing times economic stuff you got more things becoming prevalent like the scenario scene you've got mill sim mag fed which is their own subcultures or different branches on the paintball family tree let's enjoy it but in all seriousness this archery tag stuff this video as i said it's trash it's garbage now I want to know what you as a viewer think about it. Anyway, this is Big Boss with Shooting Hot TV, and I'm out of here.